since you didn't, your Patriots jersey was dirty, yeah. I'll have somebody to bring you a new one. Okay. Rafi. Yeah. Heard you need a New Jersey. <laughs> Who was that? Rob. Thanks for advice. You can use him for seven. Great meeting you. Dang. You're gonna need the hundred. You're gonna need the hundred. Okay. Do your thing, man. Keep it going. It's cool. We're a guy like Taifi to make a video like that and Project Swag, uh, what they did. So um, that's what I saw, and I wish I could have met him when he during the season, but. Uh, just makes it easy to, uh, uh, to come out to Buffalo and meet him and hopefully can get to a game in the future. Western New York's Information Center. Channel 2 News at 6 starts now. Channel 2 ran a, like, ran a wrong story. They ran a story saying that the, the kids at Lockport made the Get Well video for Gronk, and that started the whole thing of, you know, Gronkowski coming to the school. It's almost like they just kind of kind of completely left out Project Swag. Like, it's crazy. Yeah, but it was you. You guys did that. I, I know, but that's crazy. I mean, all the, I mean, it's national news. It was on ESPN and everything, but it said it's a, it's the wrong story. But you organized the whole thing. You got Gronkowski, and wasn't his brother there too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How am I supposed to sustain a, a social entrepreneurship project when these are, you know, these are the issues? always telling you, you just gotta keep at it because sometimes somebody, whether they're black or white, are gonna give you that opportunity. You just gotta remember just keep at it. Keep doing the right thing. Keep putting out the positive images. Because somebody's gonna see it for what it really is. You know, you make it through nine months of pregnancy, you make it through the birth and you have a healthy child and you think you're home free. He was 11 and it was Probably last August, we noticed that he didn't have a lot of energy and um, didn't have a lot of interest in doing anything. You know, the kids in the neighborhood would come and want to know if he wanted to come play, and no, he didn't want to do it. And, and um, he stopped eating. He didn't have much of an appetite. He lost 15 pounds. And um, I took him to the pediatrician, and um, they told me, well, it's a bad allergy season. You know, it could be his allergies. You know, al you know. It would explain everything. He went with me to pick up the prescription and the pharmacist said to me, she says, he doesn't look good. And I said, I know he doesn't, you know. And she said, she said to me, she says, if the antibiotic doesn't work within a day or so, take him back to the doctor. And the school nurse called me because he was in the nurse's office again. And she said, Karen, she says, I don't think this is an allergy. She says, I think you need to take him and have some blood drawn. I came home from work, you know, waiting for a school bus for my younger one to get off the bus. And she calls me, I'm cooking dinner, and she says, well, the doctor wants to admit him. Uh, he has leukemia. <laughs> it's hard. Um, my heart just dropped. I'm like, leukemia, how? She says, you know, she just told me to come down. Just doing these swag surveys in the neighborhood. Hey, hey, how you doing? What's your name? Jason. Jason? Uh, yeah, I'm just in the neighborhood doing some swag surveys. Uh, you know what swagger is, right? No. 
No? You, you don't play sports? Yeah, I do. Oh, you do? You play sports? Yeah. What you play? Baseball. Uh, what about your favorite hockey team? Sabres. Sabres? Okay, last question. Can you give me, like, your top five Sabres players? Um. That's on, it's on the Sabres right now. Vanek. Okay. Roy. Ba hold on, hold on, hold on. Vanek, number one. Okay. Roy. Roy. Roy, number two? You sure? Okay. Swagger, man. You must have. You got. You have the most swagger in Lancaster. No, but to be honest with you, uh, Jason, we're here, you know, to uh, to give you and your family a, a fresh start holiday surprise. Uh, we know, you know, heard you got sick, and uh, everybody I spoke to about you, you know, they said you're just, you know, you've been positive, and you're just a great kid. So, you know, I brought by your second favorite player. <laughs> Derek Roy, and uh, what's up, man? We're gonna give you a holiday surprise, right. man. Nice to meet you. You too. What's going on? <laughs> so, so you gonna invite us in, or we gonna stay out here and be cool? Everybody, come in. Yeah. All right. Thanks, man. What's going on, buddy? How are you doing? How you doing? Yeah, this, sir, how are you? Nice to meet you. Nice Paul. to meet you. Yeah, what's just, going on? this really, this, this, you know, this is really wasn't a swag survey. This is just, you know, we're just playing around with you. But yeah, I just you know brought brought Derek by for you, and uh, we got a we got a lot of surprises for you. Everyone represents a, yeah, can you a tell hospital us? stay, a poke uh, procedure, chemo, chemo. Uh, uh, everything means something different. Do you remember what the colors mean, Jason? There. Mm -hmm. The red ones are every transfusion he's had. Okay. So, and that would be two units. So he's gotten two units for every red bead that he has. And then. Black is for pokes. These Black are when they've pokes. poked, Shadows. poked him. Quite, mm -hmm. quite a few of those. Yep. And yellow is, I think, chemo. Wow. And blue is clinic visits because um, he was he was inpatient for a week at Children's at the beginning, and then he was an inpatient every other week. Um, for four, for eight weeks, so four times this winter, um, starting in January. So, um, but the rest of it has all been outpatient. The bumpy one is when he went through a bumpy time. You know, he's had a couple of, couple of rough spots. This okay, one, okay, and this one. Okay, so, okay, so these are okay. Yep, he's had a couple of rough spots. The anchor. The anchor has a story. Um, he, I, all the kids got that. Um, just to know that family and friends are your anchor during this time okay. in your life. Okay. That one's are working night and day to find a cure. They're working night and day to find a cure. Oh, on one awesome. is the moon and on the other side is the sun. It's a visual representation of everything this child has been through. These are, these are beads, of, beads of courage. Beads of courage. Oh, beads of courage. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're outside the Nick Pond's house and uh, we're getting ready to take everybody to Dave and Buster's and we're gonna play some games. We're gonna go to the batting cage Let's see what this big guy has on on the batting cage, and uh, they're gonna That's roll. Fun, yeah, they're gonna roll with uh, Mr. Roy, and see you there. All right, man. So we're on our way, Dave and Buster's, having some fun, hit some batting cages, and uh, let's still do this. Usually get there early, warm up, work out, do some stuff. Do video this morning. I can go home and nap sometimes. Watch movies. I know. My friend's going to the game for him too. Oh really? Yeah, but he's a Philadelphia fan. Oh, that's not cool. <laughs> you play in video games? Um, yeah. What's your favorite one? Um, I like the good modern warfare. Yeah, that's cool. The new one? Uh, no, I don't have that one. Oh, the new one's cool. I have modern warfare too. I mean, the new one's the same, it's just different levels. You know? Yeah. Different stages. A lot of my friends got it the first day it came out. Oh, it camped out and waited for it? Oh, they had pre ordered it. Oh, okay. Did it come out like midnight or something? Oh, uh, like, yeah. And then people were waiting for it. Yeah, they 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 were waiting for it. Ye
you if you pre-order, you have to pay more money for it. Yeah. Um, uh oh. Uh oh. 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 Got him. This kid from Brooklyn, other kid from Long Island, other kid from Long Island. These shirts is inspired by them, by the, by their stories. You know what I'm saying? One kid like a big New York Yankees fan and loved Derek Jeter. You know what I'm saying? Other kid like a hip hop dancer. Man, I'm on the way to New York City. I'm coming, I'm coming to campaign. 13 days left. Uh, look, we need everybody's help so we can make these things happen for. Young Julio and also Young Jordan. We have to make this happy for Julio Jordan and the families. This is Project Swag. Look, let's do it, New York City. I'm calling on you. New York, I need you. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and continue to follow this journey.